Coach Rod Barnes and student athletes Kevin Mays and Jalen Arrington. Coach, can you start with an opening statement? First of all, we thank God. Obviously, uh, it's a great win for our program, a great win for this team. I uh, thought our guys played with a lot more uh, energy, a uh, whole lot more points tonight than I uh, thought we got off to a good start, even though uh, they scored on us early. Uh, we felt like over a period of time that uh, we would wear them down. Uh, really proud of this team. We're excited about being in the finals. It's an accomplishment, another step in our program. And uh, this is the group of guys that deserve to be uh, in the finals. So excited for this opportunity. Questions? Uh, a couple of questions. Uh, you didn't start Kevin for the first time uh, this season. Uh, what was the, the thought process there? And, uh, and maybe talk about how he bounced. You know, obviously he came in and now, what's his injury status? Because I know he was shaken up there also. He's all right. Oh, you asked me how he Yeah, I, and also about the start, not starting him tonight. What was kind of your oh, thought? That's a decision not to start him. I feel like, uh, you know, first of all, Matt played really well last night. Uh, obviously, we've been trying to protect Kevin for the last two or three weeks now. And uh, so that was part of the plan tonight. What about Kevin? Just talk about just uh, your own mindset. You know, when you did get to start tonight, were you okay with that? And then, you know, just and then, you know, how you mentally prepared to play compared to, say, a normal game when you're out there from the get-go? Um, I mean, I, I definitely was positive about not starting. Um, I understand that Matt was phenomenal yesterday. And sometimes, you know, you got to make sacrifices for the team. And I felt like Coach Bond's decision, you know, I'm, I'm going to stick behind him 100% if you want me to be the 10th man off the bench. I know it's for the betterment of our team, so you know I'm just positive, and I, I got his back 100%. Coach, can you guys have talked about you know coming here and being focused on winning the WAC tournament, but it seemed like in the second half when you guys took that big lead, was it fun to play out there tonight? Oh yeah, it's all about fun. Um, you know we want to stay focused, but you can't uh, win if you're not having fun. So that's all I want to do is stay focused and have fun. Jalen, do you think you maybe took on a leadership role after Kevin uh, got to the locker room? After, I guess, whatever his injury was or whatever? Um, I wouldn't say a leadership role. I don't know. Just playing my role, staying focused, staying locked in, um, believing in Coach Barnes. And uh, when the opportunity presents itself, just just take it. So um, these guys are the leaders, though. So, yeah. Uh, Coach, talk a little bit. I know some minutes are down a little bit tonight, and was that by design to try to uh, keep the legs fresher for tomorrow night? Well, I mean, uh, first of all, I think we've got some guys that are playing better. Obviously, uh, you know, and then I mean, we came here to uh, hoping that we get this opportunity. So uh, our teams, this is one of those teams that when you get a feel for what's going on with it, you just kind of go with it. And uh, I thought like Justin Pride tonight, He's done a really good job in practice. Uh, he's a guy that don't want at every level. So I thought tonight was huge to give him some time. Uh, I thought Matt Smith, as we started him, he's a guy that uh, has been playing well. Uh, you know, when it's all said and done, we, we're going to get back to the guys this year. I mean, no matter how we twist it and turn it, it's going to come back to Kevin and Ali and Jalen and Ralph because those guys have been here. They've been through it. That they were the ones last year that left here with a bitter taste in our mouth, knowing that we had an opportunity, but we fell short for the second year in a row. So uh, those other guys, because we played them, we've been preparing for the tournament for the last month. Uh, now they are starting to step up and feel really comfortable with what we're doing out there. This is for uh, Rod and Kevin. This is the game now we've been talking about. We've been talking about for the last uh, month or so. Is there a hungrier team out there than, than you guys to go up against New Mexico State? I don't think so. I mean, I, you know, it's again, we we felt like, uh, you know, two times we played them. Uh, they've got to win. Uh, we feel like we could play with them. We knew our, it was going to be a tougher role for us to get here because we were going to have to play three games. They played two. Uh, but this is what we talked about. Again, I, 
uh, last night I said we, we're expected to be in this game. And that's nothing against any other team or uh, any other coach. Uh, this team has worked extremely hard. And they've been a unit. And as Kevin said tonight, you know, they trust in what we're trying to do and what I'm trying to do and, and for, for our program. This is not about me. It's not about any of the individuals. It's about our program and what we're trying to do with it. And we've got some guys that have sold out to that. So uh, hey, we've been planning, uh, not just in the last month, even though we've been preparing in the last month. Uh, we said last year when we left here that hey, we, we want to be in this game. And uh, regardless of how we get there, whether we're number one seed, four seed, five seed, uh, we want to be here on Saturday with that opportunity to go to the NCAA tournament. So we worked our way to it, as you said. Uh, tomorrow I can't wait for 8 o'clock. Last 40 minutes, and hopefully we'll accomplish our, our goal and our dream of making it to the NCAA tournament. Um, personally, I, I wouldn't want to play any other team. You know, like uh, guys in the locker room were talking and we were kind of praying that they won because we, we owe it to ourselves. Like, I feel like um, I gave a lot in the, two, the past two games we played, but I felt like I had more than I should have gave. And, uh, like, my senior year, I feel like this will be the game to cap it off, you know, to really, to really say how special this team is. What better team to do it than them? I'll direct this to Jalen and Kevin. Just talk about what – this moment, this win would mean for you guys as players who've been overlooked, underestimated, playing for a Bakersfield team that's fallen short the last several years, and just to come up and defeat the Goliath that is New Mexico State. Uh, it would mean a lot. Um, you know, just trusting the process, um, believing in Coach Barnes. So it would mean the world to me uh, to get that one shine moment. I think to us as a team, you know, it, it'll definitely, you know, mean a lot to us as a team, but it's bigger than the team. I think it's, it'll mean more to the program itself. Um, the program has been moving in the right direction, and this is just, you know, we've been, we've been preparing for this moment. So this is, this is big for us as a program. Any other questions? This will be for either of you guys. Is it hard to forget the past games you guys had with New Mexico State? going into the championship? You mean is it hard to forget? Is it hard to forget how you guys lost? You know, maybe Jalen, uh, that last second buzzer beater, is that maybe going through your mind as you prepare to go against them? No, it's just basketball. You know, the game runs, everybody makes shots. So we just see when we come uh, play tomorrow. Any other questions? Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys.